Okay, yep, for one more thing, let's do this. Let's take an image and age that image in the Camera Raw plugin. And like I said, you know, not all the cool stuff is in Photoshop. I'm going to be quick here because I'm actually recording between thunderstorms, if you can believe that. It's quiet right now. Let's open up Kerpalu 45. Okay, we want to work on this image. Let's do a couple of things to it first. Let's actually go into the Detail button in Sharpening. I want to sharpen it up. You say, well, why? Well, old images. Remember what I'm talking old, old? We're talking images that were high chromatics like Ansel Adams, and there was a lot of contrast to them. So maybe this would help a little bit. But there is a trick here in using this. Now, you can see, it's kind of hard to see. It's very subtle. But it is sharpening the image slightly. Let me show you a trick here. I want you to hold down the Alt key when we work with the Mount Radius Detail in Mask. And watch what happens. Here's the Alt key being held down. It goes into on a mount grayscale. It is easier to see what sharpens and what doesn't when you are in grayscale. So we'll go ahead and take that all the way. I want the thing all the way over there. Now watch radius. Again, radius controls the amount of sharpening based on the edges. And if I move that, and it's very subtle. But watch what happens when I hold down the Alt key. It creates a mask. I can actually see the areas that are being sharpened up. And again, you let go so you can see the image. I'm going to take that all the way this way too. Well, really, you don't typically do that much, but we're trying to age the image. For detail, if we move it, we're getting more detail. But again, if you hold the Alt key down, you can actually see the change in terms of like a mask. And speaking of masking, masking controls the areas that actually get the sharpening and try not to sharpen areas that are larger, smoother areas. Watch what happens when I hold the Alt key down for the mask. The areas that are black will not be sharpened. That's what a mask does, and this is a beautiful way to see it. That almost looks like a really neat watercolor, actually. I'm going to take it up to about there. I'm going to let go of the Alt key, and there we go. Not a lot, but it's going to help. Now, let's go to this button right here, and let's put this thing into grayscale. If we move down here to the actual colors, now remember, the image itself is grayscale, but it's still being controlled by colors. And there is a lot of green in this image. If I come here, I can influence that area. And you say, well, you're ruining the image. Well, we're trying to make it look old. So I think I like that. We're going to come over here to our basics. And we might try a little bit of exposure. Maybe lighten it up a little bit. And if we come all the way down, I want clarity all the way over this way. And again, it gives it more of that effect of being an older image, at least in my opinion. Let's come over to this button right here, FX. Let's add some grain to this. So we're going to make it grainy, make it look old. We're going to take size all the way, and we're going to take roughness all the way. And that's a little bit more than what I need, so I'm going to dial down amount, which is kind of like dialing down the volume. So it's not quite so bad. Let's put a little bit of a vignette around the edges. Older images sometimes got darker around the edges. And so we'll go into our amount. Now we can go this way, or we can go this way. We're going to go this way. And just give it a little bit of a darker edge. Change maybe the roundness so it isn't quite so perfectly vignetted. And here's Feather. We could even give it just a little bit more to soften it up a lot on the edges. Okay, this is my interpretation of aging an image in kind of an Ansel Adams tradition, I guess. Understand we haven't covered everything in Camera Raw. And although this is the end of the chapter, that doesn't mean we're done using Camera Raw because we'll need it to get into Photoshop with some of the other images we're going to use. And when we do, we'll pull up other features. On to the next.